Yo, what is up guys? My name is Dylan Taylor. This is Dylan's DIY Workshop. And today we're going to be doing some more wood burning. Again, I know. I know, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry for all the wood burning. I will be making some other stuff. I don't know what. I don't know when. But I will. So basically right now I've been working a lot on this wood burning that is for Casey Neistat and I've got quite a bit of it done. And there's one section over here that I wanted to do something special that I haven't done with wood burning yet and that's to make something look like it's glowing. And to do that we're going to need pencil crayons and a wood burner. I'm going to be using the razor tip wood burner with this pen. For those of you who want to know what it actually looks like that I'm working on, it looks like this. It's big board of cherry. I've only got the words so far. I just got the images that I'm going to transfer on here so that'll be more videos in the future but this right here is what we're working on today it's the work harder neon sign that he has so we're gonna go up here to the pencil crayons we're gonna grab a white pencil crayon and we're also going to grab a light blue pencil crayon I don't know if this is light enough so we'll grab this one as well we're gonna need those oh, and a wood burner and that should be it I've drawn this on to look very similar to the actual neon sign, so let's get to work with it like this. Now, to be 100% fair, I've never done anything similar to this before, so basically what I want it to do is look completely white there and then glow. Now, you might just say, Dylan, why don't you just pencil crayon that in? Well, I could, but I don't want to just have just pencil crayon there, so I want to find a way to incorporate wood burning and pencil crayon into the same piece right here. Okay, so I'm starting with this wood burner with this regular skew tip at a power setting of about five. So I'm gonna just kind of add a few little outlines on this as I can without just completely outlining it because I don't want that. You want it to be dark in some spots. Change my mind, power setting of four, well, three and a half. And I'm just gonna shade to lighter here. I'm gonna go from a dark line to a lighter bit and the way the way that you do that is leave your dark line first and then shade away from that to where you want it to go light and then just keep going over it until it's gradual so there you go you've got that you can barely see that maybe I could zoom in on it a bit it'll focus uh, I'll try it right here on this H so that you can see it so that I'm gonna do the same thing as I just did with that W I'm going to leave a dark line there and then I want to fade it into the middle so I'm just gonna go to the middle really quick leaving all the light I'm just gonna slowly fade it in from the dark right here to the light and then it'll should give you a nice gradient now you want to take your time with this and use a lower heat setting because you can always burn darker you can erase but it's always much easier to burn darker than it is to have to erase it and then wood burn back over it so that's what I'm talking about you go from the dark to the light the more time you take and the lower the power setting the nicer this will look it just takes time to learn how to do this so practice it as much as you can and soon enough you'll be making things like an Audi R8. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do similar things like this before we jump into using these pencil crayons right here. Alright guys, so there we have it. That is what it looks like. It kind of looks kind of goofy, but almost like a weird raised text, like almost tattoo or something, or maybe like it was burned or something, you know what I mean, like a brand. Kind of looks like a brand in some, in some skin, which is weird. But anyways, uh, next step would be to carefully, well not carefully, you can do this quite quickly, erase all of the pencil lines, and we're going to replace that with a very light shade of white and then mix it with the blue. And we're going to take those, we're going to mix the white and the blue, the lighter gray, together. So far guys, this is what we've got here. 
I think it's looking pretty good. I just wanted to stop before I finished it just so I could show you guys what exactly I was doing from at least a different angle here. So I've got different colored blues going on the lines here. So I basically did one, you know, darker blue and then I ran over it hard with the lighter blue and then I just kind of took a different color blue and then I would just kind of add in accents so that it, it looked like it was all different colors but it was all solid color. You couldn't see any grain of the wood like right here we need to touch that up. I have the, the wrong lens on here. I should be able to zoom in more than that. Let me change that real quick. Perfect. So this is what it looks like and I think we have manual focus. Yeah, I do because <laughs> This lens, the one that I'm using, sucks with autofocus. This one's beautiful for it. This is my normal wide angle lens that I use all the time. So, uh, yeah. So it's right there that you wanna add a little bit more in because see that there's a little bit of wood there. So I just take a different blue and then darken that up right there. Kinda need to do that around the other places so that you end up with a solid blue. But what I'm doing for this shadow or kinda glare, the glow that would come off of this light, I'm just taking this white pencil crayon right here and then just kind of, I'm basically making that glare as white as I want it to be. And that's the first layer that goes down is this white. Okay, so now that I've got the, the white everywhere, to get it to go from this to kind of a more blue shadow, what I did is I took this light blue, the lightest blue that I had, and I just kind of very lightly made lines all the way across like this, going this direction, so diagonally this way. And then once I got all that done, I went and did the other direction opposite to it. So it's basically like cross hatching right here to get that look over here. I let it go over the white and then I just covered the white around it again. So the white, there's actually like a, an outline. Just gonna go ahead and do that here and we'll see what we're gonna do next. And there we go, that is it done, and I'm liking the way it looks. All of this, guys, is completely 100% the first time I've tried to do anything like this specifically. If we just come up here to my shelf and turn the, uh, we can't do it, turn over here. Uh, I have these paint markers, and I use them to label all of my stuff, kind of like this tripod right here where it says my name. I have a pink one that I actually use to do that. I thought I bought two of the same ones, because I use them a lot and I had to go to the city to get these which is about an hour drive and I don't actually have a car right now. <laughs> Hashtag save my car. Um, we make t-shirts actually. Links in the description. So this is the size that I use all the time. It's like a regular tip Sharpie and compared to this one right here which I open and it's like this tiny fine tip Sharpie which kind of sucks but at the same time I think we're going to be able to use it to add some highlights here which is going to be pretty awesome. You have to shape these so much, it's so annoying. But at the same time, you know, whatever, it's kind of like spray paint. And then you kind of got to press in on them. I think this is going to work. I hope it's going to work. I really do hope it's going to work. Oh yeah, I think that that looks, that looks pretty good. I might add a few more lines in here. Uh, somewhere along the way. I think that looks really good. And obviously when you're using these paint markers on wood, uh, you saw how I put that line on and it was pretty white. Look, all these lines, they start to fade because they seep into the wood and you don't really get the, the, the bright colors that actually come off of the marker. So you just have to let that dry and go over it again. So that's kind of like a primer run and then I will do it again and it'll end up staying like that. But I really do, really do love the look of that. So there you go guys. Okay, none of that recorded. So thank you guys so much for watching. I post these videos every Tuesday and Friday on this channel, and I also do daily videos on my other channel. So if you'd like to check that out, go on over there, link in the description. I really hope that you guys learned something new from this. That was my first time attempting pencil crayon marker in a wood burning, and I know you guys will see the rest of this wood burning as it progresses. So that wood burning for Casey Neistat, I'm going to keep working on it. I'm going to put as much time into it as possible. So the next couple videos might be pertaining to that. Likely, maybe not. Maybe it'll be something else. I know that there's a camera trick that I want to uh, talk about and probably put on this. Nonetheless, guys, thank you for watching. This is going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys learned something new. If you guys are new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please share this video with a friend. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, 
give it a big old thumbs up. See you guys all next time. Peace out. Oh yeah, and uh, don't forget our legend tier Patreon supporters, Brandon Arsenal and Randy. If you guys want to support me on Patreon, there will be a link in the description and it tells you all about what Patreon is if you don't know what that is on that page. So I'll let you click on that. See ya.